Are you seeing this message when trying to upgrade to Windows 11? Frustrating, right? But don't worry, in this video I'll show you how to bypass those annoying restrictions and install Windows 11 on your unsupported PC with ease. Stick around and let's make it happen. So let's start by confirming the bad news. As you can see, I'm using a PC with a Core i5 second generation processor and 12 GB of RAM, both below the minimum requirements for Windows 11. The PC Health Check app doesn't hold back, telling me straight up that my PC isn't eligible. But who needs permission, right? We're about to bypass these restrictions and install Windows 11 anyway. Let's get to it. Step 1 is getting the Windows 11 ISO file. Open your browser and search for Windows 11 Media Creation Tool. Click on the official Microsoft link and download the tool. Now select the second option Create Windows 11 Installation Media and simply download it. Once it's installed, run the tool. Click on Accept. Now leave the settings as it is and then click on Next. And select the option to download the ISO file. It's straightforward. Just follow the prompts and save the ISO somewhere you can easily find like your desktop or downloads folder. The Windows 11 ISO file will be started downloading and it can take some time depending on your internet speed. Now the Windows 11 ISO file is downloaded. Next step is to download Rufus, a software used to create bootable USB. Open your browser and search Rufus. Click on the first website. Now scroll down and click on the first link to download. Now plug in your USB and remember it should be minimum 8 GB. Run Rufus as administrator. Now on the top you can see my USB is automatically selected. If it is not selected you can manually select. Select the Windows 11 ISO file that we just downloaded earlier. Now, for the partition scheme, you can remain it as GPT, but however, it did not work for me, so I have to choose MBR. However, GPT will work for you. If not, you can select MBR. For a clean look, you can change the name of USB as Windows 11 or whatever you want. Now, finally, click on Start and make sure to check all options. Rufus has an amazing built-in feature to bypass TPM and secure boot restrictions. This is the most simple method to install Windows 11 on an unsupported PC because in this method we don't have to modify Windows 11 files or something else. Click on OK and remember the USB will be formatted during this procedure. If you are having any troubles creating a bootable USB, click the I button in the top right corner for a full guide. I have explained various methods. You can choose whatever works for you. Now just relax and wait for some time as this is completed to 100%. We have successfully created Windows 11 bootable USB drive. Now restart your PC, but before restarting, remember the drive which contained the Windows which is currently installed on your PC, like in my cast it was C drive. Restart your PC now. Now press F12, ASC or Dell on your keyboard to enter a boot menu. It depends on your system, for example, I have Dell system and for me I have to press F12 to enter a boot menu while on the startup screen. Press quickly before the PC is booted. You'll see a screen like this. Use up and down button on your keyboard to navigate and select USB. The system will be booted from USB and then we can install our Windows 11. This can take some time, so be patient. Leave the settings as it is and click on Next. Click on Install Now. If you have Windows 11 product key, you can add or you can click on I don't have a product key. If you want to activate Windows for lifetime for free, click on the I button to see the complete guide. 
You can select whichever version you want to install, I am installing Windows 11 Pro. Accept the license and click on next. Select the second option. Now select C drive. If you don't know which one is C drive, just see the disk total space and match it with C drive's total space. Like in my case my C drive was 138GB, so I am selecting the disk with 138GB of total space. After selecting the C drive, click on format and be careful, don't select any other disk other than C, otherwise it will be formatted. And now click on next. After that sit back and relax as Windows 11 installs. It'll take some time, so grab a snack or stretch your legs. Finally, Windows 11 is installed on our unsupported system. If you want to install important updates or drivers, click on search bar and search for Windows Update. And make sure the updates are enabled. And there you have it, Windows 11 installed on your unsupported PC. No TPM, no secure boot, just a smooth modern experience. If this guide helped, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe for more simple tech solutions. See you in the next one.